hello angel baby so i'm coming at you with another video i just wanted to take a minute to say thank you to those of you that are subscribed and that are still subscribed and listening over this long period of time that i took off i had a parent die so i wasn't able to be on as much as i just took time for my healing process and i think that that time was very very important to me so if you're still here after all of that waiting time for another video i really appreciate you So you have the Hierophant in reverse. So if you're dealing with somebody with some negative beliefs or a negative belief system, okay, you're dealing with somebody that's trying to, with a magician, and the Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Four of Wands in the reverse, you're dealing with somebody that's trying to come out, out of some type of struggle, okay? Some type of struggle that we have here. This could be about a home with the Four of Wands here, or a reunion, or a... You could be feeling like you have low self-esteem, okay? I'm also seeing that for the person that you're thinking of. This could be you, this could be the person that you're thinking of. I could say man and mean woman. I could say woman and mean man, take it how it resonates. But I do see somebody here that is not so great at keeping boundaries. They also may be very defensive and paranoid, okay? Um, this person has a hard time learning from past mistakes, okay? This could be somebody that you're married to, or it could be you, it doesn't have to be, but I'm seeing like somebody just being extremely tired extremely tired of like not having some sort of stability maybe not having a home maybe not having a marriage maybe not having um you know something that just brings them joy in a certain type of way okay you could be dealing with a virgo or a taurus okay is what i see here and i'm going to switch to my angel tarot deck this is a really pretty deck, by the way. I love this deck. It was well worth the money spent. But I feel like you want to retreat. I feel like you kind of just want to pull back your energy a little bit. We have the Ten of Cups here that came out in the reverse. So... And we have Divine Warrior confounds the wicked and brings victory and peace. So I feel like you believe that like bad people are winning right now. Like you just feel really down in the dumps. You don't really know what to do. You know that you can't stay in the situation, but like you just don't really see a way out of your circumstances right now is what I'm seeing with this person because they're experiencing the Ten of Cups in the reverse. There's just something that you believe that's holding you back. And we have the Ten of Pentacles that popped out. And we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of this deck. So you're trying to manifest some type of stability. You're trying to manifest like a happy home life, happy work life. You know, just plain old stability, okay? We have inner and outer work helps one keep their job and protects against disasters. So somebody is trying really, really hard to keep their job possibly, okay, to keep their position or to keep their, their, their spirits up, okay? But for some of you, whatever this is, maybe this job is stressing you out and you just don't believe in it anymore and it's not bringing you happiness. 
you feel like the bad people always win or the people that don't deserve accolades and praise always get it. Um, yeah, we have in the near future. So in the near future, these beliefs I'm hearing could intensify just because of the way that you're thinking about it. You still have time to change this, but I feel like your beliefs are what is holding you back. You need to practice forgiveness, okay, and self-compassion, like maybe forgiving yourself for thinking that something was going to be easier to achieve when it wasn't, or this person needs to forgive themselves, okay? We have in the near future, within the next few weeks, somebody could possibly be losing a job or losing stability in some kind of way, and we have big happy changes, but that also pops out in the reverse. So again, this is not going to be the happiest of changes, but everything is in divine guidance. Everything is in like divine timing. So just believe that this is just a part of your path, no matter how grim and horrible that it looks. This is just a part of what you have to go through right now. This is just what your life looks like in this moment. And it's not going to last forever because nothing lasts forever. Everything has a beginning and an end. So you really need to find a way to forgive yourself, okay? To forgive who you need to forgive, okay? We have date, meeting someone new, getting back out there, planning and setting a date. So you could be going on a date or opening yourself up to dating at this point in time. Okay, or thinking about it, or maybe you're planning on going on a date in the next few weeks, or you'll get asked out in the next few weeks. We have keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. So this actually popped out in the reverse. So I feel like you don't feel like you have a lot of options right now. You feel like you're trying to do things in a conventional way, and it's just not working. Okay, you keep getting pooped on okay in these situations um maybe in the dating scene you keep getting pooped on okay and you're just looking for a happy home life happy work life maybe you have part of that down already or you have a happy work life or you're going to school and everything's good maybe you are stable but you know you're, you're just looking for that partner that one person you're trying to mess manifest them and bring them in i see that like you're trying to call in a soulmate And we have Dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding things out, coming to light, adapt to change, and heal. So within the next few weeks, I do see you, this energy lifting up a little bit and not feeling so down and so burnt out, okay? Um, and being weary and having conflict, okay? I do see this energy lifting. And we have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting exactly like you're going to be surprised by going on a date and this is going to bring an ending to whatever it is that you've been feeling okay so in the meantime in the next few weeks maybe you can work on some self-care okay and i'm going to switch to my angel therapy oracle cards just to see what it is that you possibly need to focus on during this time and we have your base chakra, so your root, your root, your survival chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words determine your outcome exactly. Okay, so speak positively over this situation. And what you want will come. It just takes time, okay? Not everything happens right when you want it to happen, right? You know, some things take time. So I really hope that this helped you. Um, again, if you'd like a personal reading from me, you can go ahead and look in the description box and contact me through my email. And if not, I will see you in the next one. Bye, Angel Babies.